So I spoke earlier about sharing ideas, not holding them for yourself and passing them and setting them free. Because it always comes down to execution, work, talent, skills, resourcefulness. That's what's going to make that idea a success, not just the idea itself. Further along that same way of thinking is business and career opportunities. If something is presented to you, a position at a different company, different business, different industry, perhaps even different states, different country, and it's not something you're prepared to do at this point or ever in your life for various reasons, family reasons, you know, that you're already living where you want to live, whatever the reasons may be, or you're happy in the business that you're in, you have other plans, whatever the reasons are, if you are aware of an opportunity and you know of somebody else who might be a good fit, even if it's not for you, pass it along. Make them aware of the opportunity. Send them a text or an email, social media message, doesn't matter. Just say, hey, came across this and I thought of you in case you're interested. Boom, here's the link. That's it. You're done. It's on them to apply if they want to pursue it or not. Their choice, their life, their career, their business. But if you see opportunities for people to advance and grow in their careers and their businesses, share them as well. Other side of that coin is don't kick the can down the road and don't pass the buck. If you have worked with someone for a while who is not a good employee, and that that doesn't make them a bad person, but they're really not good at X, and they've left your company or business for whatever reason, on their own reconnaissance or not, and now they're applying somewhere else, and somebody else from that other business is calling you for a reference for the same X type of position, say the truth, speak the truth. If they were good at one, but really bad two and three, and two and three is what really matters for your business, say that. Hey, Joey or Susie was here for a year or three or five, and you know they're really good, or they did okay in area one and two, but three, four, and five is really not what their skill sets lie, and we try to work with them, but you know it, it wasn't working out, and we decided to part ways. Say it. Don't just pass the buck, because you never know how relationships and lives are going to intersect again down the road and whether you're going to see that person or the person calling you for a reference. And you want to treat people the way you want to be treated. If someone's applying for your for a position in your business and you're calling a reference and you know that they're and the other side knows that they're bad, that they're rude, that they're angry, that they're, they don't show up in time, that they leave early, that they, you can't find them, that they don't produce quality work, that they think they're better than everybody else, that they badmouth people, whatever it may be. Maybe they do all of those things. And they tell you, oh, they're a wonderful person. We wish we could have them back. And now you hire them. Yes, you can always fire them. But now you hire them. You have months of nonsense and paperwork and so forth, that which could have been addressed with that first phone call. So share opportunities with people you know, friends, colleagues, and so forth. And make sure that the buck of incompetence shenanigans, and lack of quality stops with you. Have a wonderful day. Share this video with your friends and family. And subscribe, comment, and share again. Share. Have a great day.